goes back to a question that humans have been asking themselves since the beginning of humanity, which is, why are we here and where do we come from? Minos is an experiment which measures a beam of neutrinos made at Fermilab in, uh, near Chicago, looks at them again 735 kilometers later uh, in the Sudan Mine Underground Lab, and uh, sees how they change between the before and after measurements. So neutrinos are uh, tiny little particles that have very little uh, mass. They also are sort of quirky particles in a way that uh, they transform from one type to, each, to another. For instance, they go from mu neutrinos to electron neutrinos, and these phenomenon is called oscillations. When neutrinos came into the picture, they weren't exactly what we expect them. We didn't expect neutrinos to have mass, we didn't expect them to undergo this phenomenon of oscillations, but we also didn't expect neutrinos to have the extremely important answers they might have to questions about nature, about the amount of matter versus antimatter that we see in the universe, about how a star explodes in a supernova. And all of those questions can be answered better and better if we understand the behavior of neutrinos. One of the most interesting things about neutrino oscillations and their measurements is that as we make measurements more and more precise, we find out things about neutrinos that we didn't know before and things about nature that we didn't know before. It turns out that neutrinos might help us explain something as fundamental as why the universe is made more of matter than antimatter. And measuring their oscillations or their change from one type to another very precisely and how that changes for neutrinos and antineutrinos will help us understand that problem better. They're a very important puzzle piece in the universe that we don't know what the shape is quite yet. And in the next generation of scientists and engineers, if they're trying to figure out if they don't know what the puzzle pieces of the universe even look like, they won't have a hard time assembling the puzzle and finding out the next big thing that we haven't even thought of yet. So it's, it's a fundamental basic research, trying to understand the shape of the puzzle pieces of the universe so that we can get a better picture once we have all the pieces. Well, there's another experiment called NOVA, which is using the same beam of neutrinos, but is at the surface uh, in Ash River, a little farther north in Minnesota, and that's following up on Minos to try to understand more about how these neutrinos change their character as they move through the Earth. The NOVA detector was built with all the knowledge that we've learned from previous experiments. So it has a handle on these interactions to see them in a way that we haven't seen them before. With NOVA, we can not only see the disappearance of the muon neutrinos, but we can also see very clearly and with very, very good resolution the appearance of those muon neutrinos as electron neutrinos at the fire detector. When we think of looking at stars or supernovae or the, what happened right after the Big Bang, we think of looking at it in light. But the thing is, we can actually look at these phenomena in neutrinos. And by studying the neutrinos themselves, we unveil the neutrino mysteries, but they're helping us unveil mysteries of the universe and understand things we didn't understand before. I like to think that at the same time as we're studying these very deep questions about the universe, at the same time, we are actually have a role in, being, in doing new things that while you might not be able to predict today what is the application of that crazy idea we're testing out, um, one day it might just make out and help out uh, the larger world. Physicists nowadays are, are really explorers. Now we're, with neutrino experiments, we're really exploring a new frontier. We call it the intensity frontier because we can only see these things with really intense beams of a lot of particles that we try to see with these detectors. But in that frontier, we're we're seeing things and seeing the universe in ways that it hasn't been seen before.